Hi, my name is Terry Lee, and today we're going to talk about how to download a book, including the images uh, from the Gutenberg website, which has all the books there. There's over 60,000 of them, and they're all out of copyright, which means they're free for you to use and actually edit and do whatever you want with them. So you're going to go on your browser, and then you're going to go to um, let me go here. This is a page that you will see, and it's uh, gutenberg.org, O-R-G, and that will bring you to this page. And to search for the book you want, you just click up here and type in what you want to find, and then click Go. Now, I've already done this search ahead of time. And um, these are the Alice in Wonderland books. And the reason I'm showing you these is because they're very, very popular with um, the junk journal group. Now, I selected one that I knew for sure had a bunch of images in it so that I could show you this properly. So you click on Alice's Adventures Underground, which is the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. And then now the different um formats are listed here of the way that you can get this book on a side note if you have dropbox if you're going to use any of these images like for your kindle or whatever you can send the file directly to your dropbox you can send it directly to google drive and you can send it directly to OneDrive. and like i've been showing you guys with publisher and whatever if you have a subscription to office then you also have OneDrive, and you can send the file directly there. However, none of these formats, unless you're going to read it on your Kindle, um, which is not what we're talking about today, but uh, none of the the none of these are going to be the way that we want them. So um, we're not going to be sending them to the Dropbox or to OneDrive. Now, EPUB is a specific program. I'm very proud of myself for being able to say the word specific. <laughs> I have trouble with that one. Anyway, uh, and it re requires a special program to open it. And so I don't want to have to walk you guys through a whole new program and everything. And then, like I said, Kindle is for your Kindle. And to my knowledge, I'm not sure, but I don't believe that you can print from your Kindle please someone leave a comment in the below the video if you can and let me know how because I can incorporate that into future tutorials. The plain text is exactly what it sounds like. It's the text with no, no images. However, if you read the book online, then you, you get all the images. So when you scroll down, here's the cover and the name of the book, table of contents, and now these images and this handwriting is in his, or these are his originals. So he drew this and he wrote this in his handwriting. Okay. So as you scroll down, you can see there's lots of images that you could use. In fact, there's a whole lot. And so you're thinking, okay, Terry, well, this is online. That's all fine and dandy. What do I got to do? Right click and save every image. No, you can save them all at once. You're going to love this. You can save them all at once by clicking anywhere on the page, right click and select save as, and you're going to save the whole page. And the reason you're going to do that is because when you save a web page, all the images are saved in a folder. So I'm going to go to Gutenberg and then I am going to click on new folder. And I'm going to call it Alice Underground, if I can type, because I don't want to type out the whole title. And then enter the enter key, enter the key one more time. And then all you do is click save. And you can see over here, there we go. Now it's done. Now you can go to uh, Windows Explorer and go to Gutenberg, double click on Alice Underground, and you see, oh, well, we got the web page. Okay, fine. Then you double click on the folder, and you see it's full of the images. So now you've got the cover image, you've got all the images out of the book, and then if you go back here, I right clicked and went back one, 
then if you double click on this, this will open the web page again and, and you can print out all the text. So that's a quick way to get a book that's out of copyright. If it's at Project Gutenberg, which they have 60,000 of them, so there's a lot to choose from. Um, you know, probably a lot of the Christmas books. Um, I would think um, a lot of the Dickens books or, um, you know, any of the books like that. Little Women. Um, now, I'm not saying all those for sure. I'm just saying those are ones that you could check on. Okay? So that's a quick and easy way for you to download a book and get grab all the images. That way you don't have to look around on Pinterest and then try to find out if they have a copyright and yada, 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 and all that, and then never get the text at all. So um, that's the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be just a second for you, but a day for me. Bye-bye.